Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So of course I have another baby and Todd Dacovian haul because you know that's all I shop for is just Jude and Jesse. <laughs> um so in case you don't know and you're new to my channel I have two little boys Jude and Jesse. Jude is four actually just turned four and Jesse is gonna be two in October so have actually quite a big haul. Um, just got some pieces that I've been finding and some new shoes. Um, so yeah, I actually have quite a bit from Baby Gap. I used to shop on Baby Gap all the time when I had Jude um, when he was baby, but then I kind of like forgot about Gap um, and was just like really shopping on like Zara and H and M and then like small shops. Um, and then Gap like, popped up in my email the other day and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't been on her in ages. And I actually got quite a bit, like I literally loved it. And it was so cheap, like it was not questionable. Like, you had to buy it, it was just too cheap not to buy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly dive in and show you what I got. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you um, what I bought in Sainsbury's the other day. I love like supermarket clothes, like Tesco and Sainsbury's actually do do some really nice pieces. Sometimes I'll go in there and I'll see quite a lot and then sometimes I'll go in there and I'll see one or two items. And um, this time I only saw a few things but um, girl stuff in TU, like in Sainsbury's at the moment, was actually really nice. But I obviously don't have a girl so I couldn't buy it. <laughs> but I'll show you what I got. So I got Jude these pyjamas. Like you would have seen most of this actually if you follow my Instagram. But not all of it actually. But some of it. Um, but I got Jude these gorgeous little dinosaur pyjamas. Like long trousers. And the shirt top. Um, and they were £9. And they were in four to five years. The smallest they done was one and a half to two years. But they were like really big for Jesse. So otherwise I would have got them matching. But £9 for these which is so good. And then I got this, which I absolutely love for Jesse. So this is in like the baby bit. And it's just a matching like little like jumper and trousers, which is super cute. I just like love the colours. Um, and this is only £10. So yeah, I'm debating whether to actually go back and get it in the next size up as well. Because I know he'll wear it in the autumn. And this will fit him now. This is six to nine months. Um, but we're able to get him in like the 9 to 12s for like autumn in case he like, has a growth <laughs> um, but yeah for like £10 you just honestly can't go wrong like this was so lovely so yeah love that and then okay so I'm going to show you Baby Gap which is actually quite big um, so to start off actually with the boring things I got a pack like a trio pack of boys boxes like these might not be interesting to most people but I actually find boxes for Jude to be really hard, like Jude's quite picky. Um, and the Marks and Spencer's like autograph ones that look like this, but they just had autograph around them, shrunk every single time I washed them, like they were a pain. Um, so I got these Gap ones. These two here are obviously brand new. <laughs> um, but the other one I've washed and like a few times now, and it's actually come up lovely, like still like new. Like it's soft, it's not gone all horrible and like stiff and yeah, it's not shrunk, so that's a bonus. I also got um, a pack of like dinosaur um, boxes. So just to try and see what ones Jude prefers, like the different shapes. So the other ones are obviously like boxes, these are more like pants. And these just say the days of the week on them. Um, and I thought they were really cute. I actually, really sorry, because I can't remember how much these packets of boxes were. Because Gap don't put like the price on their stuff because it's all ordered online I actually ordered it all online so i'm really sorry i can't honestly remember the prices but i know that when i made this order i think i had like 40 pound off or something like not because i'm a new customer or anything like they just had this like day or week i don't know of like a massive discount and everything i got that i'm going to show you came to like it either came to 40 something pound or i had 40 pound off it might have been like 60 pound or something but yeah anyway it's so good like the quality of gap as well is so nice and the price that like, you just can't go wrong okay so i got jesse this and i absolutely love it so i've got him this little shorty like romper um and i don't know if you can see that but it's like got these like lovely little colors running through it and yeah this was just super super cute so i actually think i'm gonna put him in it tomorrow um yeah i love that um and then i picked up for jesse Actually, most of this is for Jesse. <laughs> um, these little, like, they're like t-shirt um, vests. They button up, but they're not like, like actual, they don't look too vesty, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, they've got like the little pocket on with the little bear, so like a little t-shirt. So I've got him in the grey. I actually think 
this romper, I'm thinking about it, um, was like seven pound or something. And then these, um, so this gray one, and then I also got it in this like lovely blush pink color, um, which is just gorgeous. Um, I'm pretty sure these were like, I think like three or four pound each. Like they were really cheap, um, like really cheap. And then I got this one here again in the sale. Yeah, they don't have any prices on anything. Um, okay, so I got this one in the sale as well. And this says Little Wild Thing, which is super cute too. Again, like, I'm pretty sure it was under five pound, like all the vests were under five pound. And then I also got this one. This was like um, Gap collaborated to do like something for Gay Pride. So actually, I think this was in the Gay, the gay Pride section. I'm not too sure actually now I'm thinking about it, but there was one thing on there that I wanted that was for Gay Pride, but they'd sold out. So maybe this isn't for it, but anyway, it just says let the adventure begin. And I just thought that's really cute for like summer and autumn, just really sweet with a pair of shorts on. And then I also got him these because he actually had these when he was a baby and like lived in them all the time. I actually used to use them as pyjama bottoms because like, I don't know about you, but like in the middle of the night when you're changing the baby's nappy and you have to like figure out all them buttons, like the poppers and it's dark and you're like, oh my God, this is so annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I used to put him in a vest and these um, like as pyjama bottoms with socks on as a baby instead of actual like poppers for the night time. Um, I suppose I was just too lazy, but they are just so frustrating. Um, so yeah, I got these as well, and again, these were in the sale as well. And like, as I said, I've had gaps up before and it always washes up lovely. Oh, I actually have another vest here, just a plain white one. Yeah, they were definitely really cheap, like for sure. Okay, and then I actually got these in a separate order, and these were, okay, so they were two different prices. So the Jess's one, I think, was £10 and Jude's one was £15. So I got them little white matching denim jackets. They're so cute. So Jessie's one, Jessie's one isn't really denim. It's um, like this like stretchy, like cotton material. So it's like soft and easy for babies to wear. And then Jude's one is actually denim, um, which is just like this, so sweet. Um, and I actually mainly got them because I actually have a white denim jacket. So I thought we could all match. <laughs> If you know, I love to match. Um, and then I got Jude some pyjamas. So they actually do zip up onesies on Gap, um, which Jude used to live in all the time. Um, I actually don't know why I didn't get any um, when I was on there for Jessie. Um, but they're so much easier if you do have a newborn um, to zip the onesie up instead of doing all the poppers, like I said before. Um, so you used to buy all of Jude's zip up onesies on there. It's the only place I find I could find that would do zip up. Um, but yeah, so I got Jude these gorgeous little pyjamas. So a little grey check shirt with, has it got a price? No. With the trousers. Um, and I think these were i'm gonna say like 10 pound um which i don't think is bad like i paid nine pound for the pair from sainsbury's so yeah really nice and yeah with gap like i've had it before it washes up lovely um okay and then i'm gonna show you what i got from some shops from instagram so i got these from a shop on instagram called ollie and millie's i had to double check that <laughs> Um, yeah, so and these are super cute. They've got like a little elastic waistband, little pockets on the back, and the lovely dinosaur print. Um, and Jude has lived in them, like honestly lived in them. They're just so comfy for him to wear. So yeah, I really love these. Um, I'm really sorry, I don't know how much I wear, but when I bought them, I think it was on a promo because I actually got them at a festival, like a kids' festival. Um, I'm not too sure how much they are. I'm really sorry, guys. And with what I'm about to show you as well, I don't know how much either. I'm actually like the worst like YouTuber for this. So, like in this video, like particularly, this is just not going well so far with that prices. Um, okay, but yeah. So the next three things I got are from the same shop. They're called Little Stitch and Me from Instagram. So I got Jessie these little dinosaur print, like kind of like harimi like three quarter lengths and he loves them he's worn these they're super stretchy like just super duper comfy and then i also got him them in these this pattern which is super cute too actually i might put them on him tomorrow because we are going to a dinosaur park um and then these little rainbow pair as well which are super duper cute too like and these have like little pretend pockets like they're so cute 
Um, I've got a feeling that they were like £10 each because I feel like my bill was like £30 when I was at the festival. So I think maybe like £10 each for them. But yeah, they're called Little Stitch and Me. And the lady's really lovely. And yeah, they're really lovely, really well made. They wash up really well. So they're great. And then from eBay. So I don't know if we purchased clothes on eBay. But these are like brand new. Um... Not because I have anything against secondhand clothes, like not at all. I actually do purchase, I have purchased before secondhand clothes from eBay. Um, but these are like brand new and I just actually happened to like stumble across them. I wasn't particularly searching for them. Um, so I got Jessie this outfit. This is from Wall Jane um, on um, eBay. I don't know why that went out of my head. Um, but if you want to know her, like if you want to double check you've got one, just message me on Instagram and I will send you the screenshot of her shop. Um, I actually had a few people ask me because I already put it on my Instagram. Um, but it's this little cardigan, which is really, really cute. I actually thought she was like an old lady that I knitted, but it turns out it's it's just that like manufactured. But I thought, oh, that's really cute. She's like an old lady and she's at home and knits and sells them on eBay. But yeah, it turns out it's just manufactured somewhere. So, but you know, the effort was there to try and shop small. <laughs> um, but then that little cardigan to match with these gorgeous little like bloomer shorts. They're so so cute. Um, it's actually a bit big for Jesse. It's a twelve to eighteen. Um, but yeah, hopefully he will grow into that. And these were I think like twenty five pound and maybe plus five pound postage or twenty seven pound or something including postage um it wasn't like particularly cheap but i thought you know it's really nice it's kind of what i'd pay for something similar from river island anyway um so yeah that was that and then um so i got these next things from this lady on ebay she has her own shop um and she does all this stuff herself so she like hand dyes these are like tie dye um and i got jesse this little vest which is super cute and I'm pretty sure this was like five pound plus like two or three pound postage. But then I ordered it with this top for Jessie who has worn it as well as a bit crease. Um, which is super cute. Um, and again, I think this was like five pound. Um, and then I actually combined the postage for me. And I also got this from her for myself, which I actually really love. Just this little like tie up front like t-shirt like top um, and again i think this is like five pound or something it's just really nice and easy to find like a pair of jeans in the summer um yeah i just really have this like thing for tie dye at the moment like i don't know why i just really do um so yeah that was what i got from ebay and then i'm going to show you what i got from a shop called polan operette and I don't know if I said right, because I honestly don't know how you say it. <laughs> but I've been shopping on there for quite a while, actually since Jude was a baby. Um, and I always get the boys' socks. So to start off with the most boring things, like Jude's socks, Jessie's socks, and then just some black socks for Jude for school. Um, their socks I think are like, oh here's £7.50 for a pack of two. Um, which I know sounds like really pricey, but they wash up so, so well. And these ones for Jessie have like the little... Um, grippers on the bottom so when he's like walking around soft playing stuff he doesn't slip over like he does all the time then these are like the toddler socks um, and yeah they're really good these were £10 for a three pack so yeah I don't think you can really like with socks I feel like when I have bought cheaper ones before because obviously he wears them like nearly every single day they get holes in they wear thin and they're horrible like um, I won't name any shops, but yeah, I've got some before, and yeah, they're, they're cheaper, and they're just, they're just crappy, and I have to throw them away, and then I'm not spending another load of money buying them all again, so I just stick to, like, them socks, because it, well, every time he has them, they just wash and wash and wash, they're, like, fantastic, um, and then I also got Jude and Jessie matching t-shirts from there, so they do, like, a whole organic cotton range, actually, I don't know if them socks are organic cotton or not, but, um, I got them a plain white t-shirt from Polano Pret, and it just always has their little, um, like logo on the sleeve which i just think is really cute um and this was 12 pound so i got one for jude and one for jesse um and jude also does have a gray and he did have a black one but at the moment they just have them in white and a gray stripe i think i didn't really want the gray stripe so i just stuck with white oh, and i have a navy blue as well um and then also from polano Pret, they do this shoe brand called cavat so jude's wellies are by cavat and they are so this is how it's spelled and they're like like 
sustainable and eco-friendly so it says thank you for walking carefully on mother nature to us shoes are not just something to put on your feet they are what ground you to earth and what could be better than shoes that are eco-friendly and made with the respect of mother nature thank you for purchasing a pair of fat shoes i hope that will last you a lifetime so Jude's ha has had two pairs of fat wellies in two different sizes, like the same pair, and honestly they're amazing. Um, and I got these for Jessie. Their shoes are really adorable. Like they do like this beautiful like blush pink colour for girls. I clearly really need a girl. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're just lovely. So I got Jessie these gorgeous little sandals. Um, and then he can wear his inner sole in these and it won't be on show because his inner sole, one's red and one's blue, so like differentiate between left and right. Um, in case you guys don't know, Jesse, my youngest boy, has hyper mobility um, and he's extremely bendy. So um, he has to wear special inner soles just to kind of help him, his feet um, go straight because he kind of walks in on his inner ankle on both of his feet. Um, so yeah, these are like the perfect sandal and he has to have things that are like stable around the ankle to keep him supported. And these are like really like, like I'm pinching and they're really stiff. Like, Whereas I kind of like the first walkers that are in like Clarks, for example, um, are really, they're all soft and very like flexible and bendy, but because he's so over bendy, he needs something stiff. Um, but yeah, these were £45, um, which I know some people are going to be like, that's insane, like for a pair of kids shoes and they grow so quick. But as long as they're going to help Jesse and they're going to be stable, then I'd I would rather spend the money on a good pair of shoes and he'll just wear these like every single day. They're plain white, they go with absolutely his entire wardrobe and they're perfect for the summer. So yeah, he'll wear these all the time. And I just love the fact that they're like all eco-friendly and stuff. Like, that's probably why they're a bit more expensive, to be honest. You know, whenever someone puts like eco-friendly on the label, they like tend to add an extra bit of money, don't they? Um, but keeping with the eco-friendly, um, as I'm trying to be more eco-friendly, shop small, be a bit more sustainable, etc. I mean, I can't do it for everything. Yeah, that's just life. But I can try my hardest. Um, I got Jude and Jesse these matching Converse. They say life's too short. Wait, what is it? Life's too short to waste. <laughs> um, they're this like, gorgeous little taupey brown colour. Um, these are Jesse's pair. And I'll just show you Jude's pair as well. And they are the Converse Renew. So they're, this part here is made from like 90% recycled bottles, um, which I think like plastic bottles, which is awesome. Um, and these were, uh, I don't know the price now. Uh, I don't have a price on them. I think Jessie's, oh, I don't know. I think Jessie's were about maybe like 20 pound and Jude's maybe like 25 or something. Um, but yeah, Jude's one's exactly the same to say life's too short to waste. Jude's look massive, but Jude has got size 12 feet. And he has humongous feet for a four year old. Um, and then I also got myself these Converse, um, which are the Converse Renew as well, that say life's too short too. And they're like this kind of like gray color. Like they're really nice and I actually didn't have any Converse, so I needed a new pair. And I think these were like 35 or 40, 45 pound. Next time, before I film a video, I'm actually going to get all my prices and write them down on a list in front of me so I can see because I feel like I just don't know any of the prices of any of the stuff I've bought so far. Okay, and then the last items I got are Jude and Jessie, some more matching shoes. So these are from um, Barefoot, no, that's a lie. They're from Vivo Barefoot like V-I-V-O um, and I watched their little like mini documentary called Shoe Spiracy, um, all about how like shoes help with, uh, like being, not shoes, like being barefoot, like helps with like, it, like everything to be honest, like your whole body and your brain and like the nutrients the soil has that you like soak up through your feet and everything, it was really interesting and I do recommend you watch it. Um, but so I bought them some matching shoes and they come in a little cute box like this. And then they're basically all like natural and eager. Some of their shoes are made from like natural algae, which are the ones I actually wanted to get Jude and Jesse, but they've been completely out of stock for absolutely ages. Um, so as soon as they come in, I really want to get them some. I'm going to get Jude's school shoes from there as well, actually. Um, so they look like this. They're like, they're not bendy. Like they look super soft and bendy, but they're not. They're nice and stiff. They're even like quite stiff around here for Jessie. Like if your child does have hypermobility, like I don't think that they're a bad shoe. Um, 
and they just look like this they're really nice and they're all like just natural like they allow for your feet to like move and be how they're supposed to be it's really hard to explain like without like you need to watch a documentary like the mini documentary to be able to understand what i'm trying to say but yeah and their whole ethos like the whole company's ethos is just amazing so this is jess's little pair and then jude also has a pair in the same box and yeah just they're just they're nice to look at as well they're not like you know really ugly or anything um yeah and i just think they're great and these were they were 50 pound each which i know is expensive and some people are going to be like whoa that's crazy like i actually don't spend 50 pound on a pair of shoes myself so <laughs> but i just think when i watched the doc like their little documentary i just thought wow you know what like i need to get the boys some of these shoes um yeah i just think they're really great so yeah be very barefoot check them out guys and other retail stores do sell them um i'm sure i don't think they're as popular in the uk as they are like america and possibly canada or wherever um but you can get them online and yeah i think that is everything for the video that i bought i feel like it seemed like a lot in front of me that's not really a lot do you know what i mean but that was it for mostly like i've actually bought quite a lot of stuff this month but like clothes wise for the boys and stuff, that was it. And then I'm gonna do another video on some of the things I've bought. I'm actually gonna do a video coming up actually on um, uh, like some tips on how to be like um, plastic free and have like less waste in like your house, particularly like your bathroom, like how to go plastic free in the bathroom. I have like a whole video on that actually, um, which I can do. So yeah, again, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like some of the pieces and if you do enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to see more and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching